Hello everyone, and welcome to Review It. Today I'm trying the ghost pepper Whopper and the ghost pepper fries from BK. So this should be good. So let's dig in. All right, I had this a year or so ago in October, and it's October again, so they're bringing it back. So there's some, looks like some jalapeno crisps on top of an orange bun with black sesame seeds, obviously for the October season. And then we have some ghost pepper sauce, I mean, we have some cheese, some jalapenos there, some more bacon, all on all with some ghost pepper sauce and ghost pepper crisps as well, I believe. And then over here we have the ghost pepper chicken fries, and a little more red than the classic chicken fries, but this should be pretty good. So let's dig in. All right, first little fry. Okay. So, if you had the chicken fry before, you know what the chicken fry tastes like. It's it's decent chicken. It's not amazing chicken. But it's nice, you know, kind of tastes like a lawn nugget. Uh, the crisp is good. I like that crisp that's on it. And the ghost pepper kicks in afterwards. It's a nice after kick. It's not overpowering. Definitely not. Like, I've had one. You know, after, if, if I've had a few more... I probably need a sip or something to calm my mouth down. It does have that after ghost pepper kick that is in the, the pepper itself that kind of stays in the back of the mouth, but it's nothing bad. It's really, it's definitely good. I actually like the heat level. It's an enjoyable heat level. Um, and again, I do like that crispiness that's in that chicken fry. And chicken's just like any fast food chicken or any chicken you might buy from the freezer section of the store. So not amazing chicken, but for what you're getting, it's, 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 it is good. Well, when I rate this, heat, crisp, flavor, all very good. I'd, I'd give the fries, actually, a good seven. Yeah, I would definitely get those chicken fries again on their own. So, there's that one. Next up, we have the Whopper itself. So, let's dig in. All right. I really like that. That's good. All of it blends very well together. The ghost pepper flavor is just there to make this spicy, but it's not overwhelming. You still taste the bacon. You still taste the burger. And the amount of everything is just the right amount of everything. So it blends together very well. Of course, you know, with BK, of course, there is an after flavor that's there. But everything just tape went so well together. And the color is fun with the orange bun and the black sesame. Uh, as far as the rating for this one goes, I also have to give this a seven. And it went it isn't much higher than that because the bun is a little bit dry. But the burger tastes good. The, again, the burger, the bacon, everything blends it so well together. It's just enough spice so that it's fun and not like and not overwhelming to distracts from the flavor of everything else it is the perfect level of it all but uh it just doesn't get much higher than that seven because again dry bun um meat is fast food meat but i really did enjoy it um it is a little expensive as well so the the burger itself just on its own is about seven dollars and the fries for about four so it also brings it a little bit down but definitely fun i will definitely be getting this again in this month because i believe it's only here for the month of october so definitely go and try it lots of fun and a good amount of heat so that's it for today folks until next time god bless